I'm Asha Jay, and I'm a National Geographic Explorer who's now a tech entrepreneur. And I'm working on finding, as always, a way to intersect all of my passions and talents in a manner that is best capable of contributing to people and planet with purpose. When I see anything, any species, whether it's an insect, a butterfly, or you know, a locust, or and right now I'm obsessed with grasshoppers. Like I, it, anything that I see, I just see the inimitable magic in its design. If you really study it, if you really look at it, and I would hate to see such wonder being stripped out of the world we live in. So all I'm really trying to do is protect the awe that we have in this world that we take for granted. And, and it's finite, which people don't seem to recognize. Here we are constantly distancing ourselves from the narrative and being apart from instead of apart of uh, the world at large. So if I can do any aspect uh, of work or c contribution that can allow people to connect the dots and see themselves as belonging to this family of things, this family of living creation that we get to have um, as an inheritable asset from generation to generation to all have this common thread of life weave through us. That's a beautiful thing to be a part of. It's a beautiful tapestry to uphold. We are the Twitter generation, at least the millennials were, and I'm a millennial. And I realized that people wanted everything in a quick bite. And that's only reduced since then, right? Like now we're in Snapchat, we can't even sit through Twitter. So it just gets more and more condensed. People want shorter and shorter insights into the world and mostly through either image or through a very brief moving image like a video so it's either TikTok, Snapchat or Instagram those are the most powerful media formats and social media that's adopted by the masses so every one of my compositions is a well-framed question that if navigated by a viewer allows them to assimilate the answer to truly understand in a glimpse what the problems are so that they can be a part of the engagement thereafter that would enable solutions to being realized. I really enjoy translating very numeric information to how can this become emotionally intuitive. So if I can transpose what is intellectually true and what is tangibly true into something that is more felt. There's so much data out there and people can keep reading data points and be overwhelmed by it but you don't really know what it means. The English language is basically a code, codified way of receiving content. But if you do it through art, it's more universal than the English language is, or any, any particular language for that matter. And so between being highly visually uh, oriented creatures and being highly emotionally driven creatures, it's important to intersect those two, which art does better than any other medium and format does. So I think we have the capacity, since we have access to so much information, to be better stewards, to care more, because we're capable of having such a negative impact, the same thing can be scaled back. Because we can cause it, we can uncause it, right? Like undo it. So I think that's what I'm really focusing on is like, how can we take ownership of this negative impact so that we can undo it?